Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. I'm a sixth grade language arts teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina, and this is my slide deck for Hidden Figures, Young Readers Edition by Margot Lee Shetterly. Um, the slide deck title also says Civil Rights Movement because when my kids get to me, they have hardly any knowledge on um, the Civil Rights Movement, and it really helps um, build background knowledge for that first. Um, I also wanted to show that I also have Percy Jackson slide deck um, the Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, Young Readers Edition, and Two Roads, also for sale on Teacher Pay Teacher. But this is for teachers. This video is for teachers um, who are teaching Hidden Figures, Young Readers Edition. All right, so it starts off, like I said, building background knowledge on the civil rights movement. And I will take you through not every single slide, but so you can get the gist and see what's available to you. Um, a lot of information about the um, biggest, um, the big, big things that happened during the civil rights movement. Lots of videos, lots of building background. Um, I have taught this for many, many years, and it is one of my favorite units to teach. Um, so they'll learn about Rosa Parks, Brown versus Board of Education, um, Dr. King, um, Montgomery Bus Boycott, Coretta Scott King, King's Wife, um, Holt Street Baptist Church, which was a huge um, deal during the civil rights movement in Alabama, um, and then how the civil rights movement today um, still has an impact on us. I teach in North Carolina. We talk about the Greensboro sit-in. It actually talks about Nashville in this unit as well. <clears throat> and let's see. Here we are with um, learning targets about Dr. King, more the Children's March that happened in Alabama and Birmingham, um, video links, um, an analyzation of Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, um, and they do a really cool figurative language hunt. I have links to the Hidden Figure soundtrack on YouTube. The soundtrack is amazing if you haven't heard it. It's also on Spotify. I usually play it on Spotify, so there's no commercials. Um, rare footage of Dr. King on the march from Selma to Montgomery. Then there is an activity called Infer the Topic, where they look at different resources to see what they're going to be studying. So it also includes the space race, um, also documents. Um, I included a lot of things to get them interested in space. This is currently, as of 2023, this is still on Netflix, this documentary about the Challenger that blew up in 1986. Some of the kids had actually seen it. Uh, this, There are links at the bottom in the speaker notes for every document that I use to teach. So um, this is a uh, close read on the space race, and you have links to all of these documents to give to your students. Um, lots of talk about the movie. The movie does not spoil the book. The book is nonfiction, and then the movie is a fictionalized version based on uh, the book. So there's lots of links to the stuff about the movie. And then the audio version um, of every chapter is included. And then tons of discussion questions for every topic that's brought up here that looks like that's uh, Catherine Johnson, but this is actually an uh, interview that Margot Lee Shetterly did at Duke University in 2016. And then this is what every chapter looks like. I won't show you every single one. There's a reading focus of what they're supposed to look for when they're reading and then a chapter. Then there's discussion questions after each one um, and then things to think about, more movie clips and how things are portrayed, discussion of Jim Crow laws, um, inspiration. This is an interview from NBC about a female, African-American female astronaut in the 90s, um, how the women are hidden no more. Katherine Johnson won the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2015. Every chapter included, again, like I said, I'm just not going to show it. Here's an evidence on, or a, evidence, a lesson on claim and evidence. More reading focus for each chapter. More discussion questions for each chapter. Here's a nonfiction um, newspaper article that ties into that specific chapter. 
how women were impacted during um, World War II. Vocabulary and context throughout, you get access to every doc that my team made. Um, in the speaker notes below, this is just a part of what it looks like. It is a very lengthy doc where they work on vocabulary and context. Um, questions, finding text evidence, discussion questions. Um, cool video clips that I found. Um, some discussion questions with reading of the chapter. Then... The Great Golden Lawn Scavenger Hunt. There's lots of like quote unquote scavenger hunts through where they have to look for specific things while they're reading. Golden Lawn is just what line stands out to them. Um, and then an example of what golden lines are. Discussing the title of Breaking Barriers. A tour of the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in 2016. More vocabulary and context. This is throughout the book. A lesson on Dorothy Vaughn reading two different texts and then looking at how authors perceive Dorothy Vaughn and all her accomplishments. The students will do work with that. Then here's a quick mini lesson on authors' methods and how the author uses specific methods to convey their message. More vocabulary and context, more chapter reading, more clips with the movie. Um, a mini lesson, Mary Jackson, a character from the book. Um, it goes in depth about her connecting pop culture to what happens in the book. Here, the kids will complete a bubble map on Mary Jackson's accomplishments. You'll, you'll look at all of the women's accomplishments. This, um, is a video of 1960s commercials. The kids actually picked up on the stereotypes very quickly. They love making fun of these because they are terrible. Um, more chapter reading, more vocabulary and context. Mark Rober, if you know who that is, he's a famous YouTuber. I included some space stuff from him. He was a former NASA engineer. More vocabulary and context. More info on Katherine Johnson. I Love Lucy episodes. Also, this was a groundbreaking um, television show from the 1960s. A writing prompt, Katherine Johnson, what made her the most remarkable and why? Chapters, reading focus, what they should focus on while they're reading. And then this starts more independent work. Um, these are all linked for you. These are docs that are all linked. And it, it puts all of the work that you've been practicing throughout the whole book up until this chapter. I think it starts with 16, um, but this kids do the work on their own. Um, you can have them do this on paper or digitally. It works with either. More vocabulary, reading of the book. Um, here is analyzing art. This is about a quick mini lesson on Ruby Bridges. And then some connecting to the text about space. And then it actually ends with chapter 23. This book is quick. This is a fun little lesson to do at the end. We actually do this the day after our big state test. Um, and they, you get this doc um, that's linked below. It's included and in how to build a paper airplane. It's very in depth. So if you have kids that like to fold origami, it teaches them three different ways to build airplanes. And then we went outside and launched and they really enjoyed that because the whole book is about aerospace. Um, and then just more cool links that link into space to keep them interested. And then my team, we do show the movie. Obviously I can't include the movie in this, but um, it is on Amazon. So we watched the movie at the end. So this um, sums up what you will get if you decide to purchase this unit. Enjoy. Thank you.